Sometimes the hardest thing about saving money is knowing where and when to get started. In this video, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can save money by developing simple and realistic strategies. And the best strategy by far is by obliterating that like button and also clicking that red subscribe button until it turns gray and that way you don't miss another video on ways that you can save make money in all things related to your finances. So when developing strategies about saving money, the first thing that you want to do is ask yourself why. When you ask yourself why, you are now looking at the bigger picture. One of the best ways about saving money is by setting a goal. Start by thinking about what you may be saving for. Perhaps you're saving because you're about to get married. You want to go on vacation, saving for retirement. Whatever it is that you want to save for, ask yourself why and look at the bigger picture. Then figure out how much money that you will need and how long it will take for you to save that money. And your why is your reason. It will be that one thing that will keep you focused on your goal. Your why will keep you motivated whenever you feel like giving up. It will keep you pressing forward even during those hard times. Your why is your statement of purpose. It will describe why you are doing those things that you are doing. Why you're giving up those sacrifices sacrifices for the short term. It will be your personal mission statement. It will be your vision statement and it will be your core source or motivation. After you come up with your why, place that statement on the top of your vision board. If you can think of one word to sum up your statement, go with that. Maybe that one word may be peace or getaway, or like mine is Tesla. Next, you want to record your expenses. Now you want to figure out how much money you are actually spending every month. Once you go through the data, organize the numbers by categories such as gas, groceries, automotive, mortgage, and total each amount. You can also use your credit card statement and your banking statement to get an accurate account of what you're actually spending because you you don't want to forget about anything. Now that you have an idea of what you spend each month, now you can begin to organize those categories into a workable budget. Joel and Christy from the long run from Joel and Christy, they explained that a budget is not telling yourself no, it is simply giving yourself permission to say yes. Your budget should outline your expenses and how they measure up to your income. So you want to plan your spending and limit your over spending. And you want to also make sure that you include a savings category because that's what this video is about. I hope that's why you're watching this video because you want to save. Now with my budget, I aim to save about 10% of my income every month. Now based on your goal and based on your budget, you may save a little more or you may end up saving a little less because one thing with a budget is there's not really a one size fit all when it comes to your money. And and the one thing that I really love about a budget, it is a living document, meaning that if something don't work, you have the freedom to go back and change it. So if you get there halfway through the month and something that's not working, take pen and paper and you can go back and change figures, move money around to make sure it works. A typical budget will actually change a few times over the course of the month. And I do go over on how you can set up your budget step by step in the video right over there, which I'm also going to leave a link down below. So after looking and setting up your budget, now you can find ways that you can cut your spending. You can identify non-essentials that you can spend less on, such as going out to eat or your entertainment. And you can also look at ways that you can cut your fixed monthly expenses as well, such as television and cell phone. Because I just saved $40 every month on my cell phone bill and I did not sacrifice any quality or any services. You may just want to call and see what promotionals they have going on and that can really save you money. And you can also ask to speak to the retention department. And I go through step by step again and I'm going to link that down in the description box below in this video right here on how you can save money just by calling in, being courteous and polite. And also consider making your savings automatic. 
Most banks offer automatic transfers between your checking and savings account. And you can choose when you're going to have that money transferred, how much you want transferred, and you can even do a split with your direct deposit. So a portion of every paycheck will go into your savings account automatically. Because the way I look at it is, when you have it done automatically and sent to your savings on payday, you won't really miss out of your budget what you really never had in the first place, right? So if you did all of those things that I listed out below, now this is where you can just sit back and watch your savings grow. Review your budget and check your progress every month. Not only will this help you stick to your personal savings plan, but this will also help you identify and fix problems quickly. Now check out the top video right over there on the best five ways how you can save money fast. Subscribe to the channel so and that way you don't miss anything by clicking the icon right here and I will see you in the next video.